Good morning and a beautiful day to you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am taking you today to see Indonesia's most active volcano. It's right behind me, Mount Merapi. Well, I made it to Bukit, which I think means Hill Klangon, but you have no idea what that means. Under the shadow of Marepi Volcano. And I think over here, in terms of a watching station or a viewing station, I can walk up over this very sturdy looking bamboo bridge and show you whatever I find up there. <laughs> Now Mount Merapi, which means fire mountain, is not only an active volcano, but Indonesia's most active volcano, and has had regular eruptions over the years. It is also a big volcano, towering over 2,900 metres over the surrounding area. Its last major eruption was as soon as recently as 2010 when an area of 20 kilometers around Merapi was ev completely evacuated. Unfortunately, there was a loss of life during that time as well. And in one single week, there was 500 volcanic quakes shaking that mountain. And then in October of 2010, Mount Merapi erupted, with lava pouring down the southern slopes that must have been an equally amazing and terrifying sight. By December the same year, the threat had been reduced and Merapi went back to a few quiet rumbles. But the eruption had actually been so severe, it actually changed the shape of the mountain and reduced the height of the mountain by nearly 40 metres. That is amazing. And I'm sort of glad I wasn't there to see it, although I wish I had. Mm, anyway, um, <laughs> the next major event because it still rumbles all the time, was in 2013 when a huge plume of smoke billowed out the top of the volcano, over 2,000 metres up into the sky. And, uh, and terrifying though that may have looked, it actually wasn't a lava eruption, thankfully, but a release of gases from inside the volcano that had been caused by the exceptionally heavy rainfall around all the slopes that actually had cooled some of the lava inside the volcano. Its most recent eruption was in 2018, but again it was more of a ash and smoke eruption rather than a lava eruption. It did come, cover, um, cause some disruption in the local area, uh, people had to be evacuated just in case, and the Jogjakarta airport, which is like 30 kilometers away, had to be closed down. Um, but Fortunately, nobody harmed during that event. Now there is a seismic monitoring program set up around the volcano that const constantly monitors for activity around and below the mountain. The lava buildup starts about 1.5 kilometers underneath the mountain and it still bubbles up every now and again. So it's monitored um, and hopefully there's enough warning. There's eight warning stations around the volcano now and hopefully they will give plenty warning to the local area for when Merapi inevitably blows its top once again. Now, one of the things that's very popular to do around the volcano, Merapi, volcano is a jeep tour and it takes you to pretty much all the spots I'm taking you to today. Views of the mountains. This one is actually Alien Rock. No idea where that is but I'll go and show you. But here's an example of some of the jeeps. You get a hard hat, you ride out in the back and enjoy the dusty roads around the mountainside. Volcano side I should say. It does look kind of fun. Again, not sure how environmentally friendly. Um, but uh, in the meantime, let's go and view Alien Rock. Yeah. 
still not sure what the alien rock is. I'll go and look over there, maybe some rocks that they think are aliens. The big hole down there just has a, like a track going through it where the river went. The best attraction is by far. But where I was this morning <laughs> was definitely far better. There was nobody there. This is like full of all these Jeep tour people. So I wouldn't recommend coming to this spot for the view. Go to the other hill instead. Better view and no people. This is full, as you can see, of a lot of people. Okay, maybe this is the alien rock because it looks like an alien brain. Because clearly I know what an alien brain looks like. But, uh, okay, this, I think, this is the alien rock. It's not actually an alien rock, it's rock with the face of an alien. You can see his eyes here, nose and mouth. So, let me see if I can capture that for you. It's a alien face. There, you see it? This is eyes, nose, mouth. He's not very happy alien. Okay, I think you can safely cross this stop off your list. There'll be a small parade of uh, vehicles going past. And that is Mount Merapi. What an amazing scene that is. I would say doing a lot of the tour in the jeeps and things, the alien rock, it's actually an alien face on a rock, and, and what else? Yeah, and the bunker, they're interesting. I mean the bunker, I'm at the bunker now, which it does give a great view. And the bunker is a sad story of when the volcano last erupted, um, a couple of people were here and decided instead of fleeing, they would hide in the bunker. They didn't make it. Anyway, um, so, lesson learned, if a volcano erupts, just keep going as far away as you can. Uh, but we have enjoyed the beautiful Mount Merapi today. Um, Merapi, it is beautiful scenery around here, and the clouds have come and gone, and I'm greeted this evening now with a clear view of the top, which is beautiful.